Hey, everybody, this is Casey hanging out with you here at the Wall to Wall Country Show, where we play nothing but the best country music for a couple of hours. And in the second hour of the show, we're always so excited to have on board, you know, one of the great artists, whether they're a classic artist or a brand new artist on the country music scene, but um, bringing you some of the best music we can out there. And I am so honored, pleasured, and humbled to have on board another iconic country artist of the time. This guy has some chart topping tunes that you know and love, and you're going to know them when we talk about them. He's got nearly uh, five dozen top 40 hits um, for 40 years that he's been doing it in the business. He's known as the Bruce Springsteen of country with nominations and awards and many, many accolades notched on to the country belt that this man wears. Please make welcome to the show, Mr. Bobby Bear. Hi, Bobby. How are you? Hi, Casey. I'm doing good. I'm great. I am so excited to have you on the show today, and I know so many people already know a lot about your history and your past and all the things that you've accomplished in your lifetime. So what I'd like to do um, is move right into today, and let's talk a little bit about what is going on with Bobby Bear in 2017, and I know you have some exciting news for my listening audience. Oh, I have a new album that will be out in a couple of days, so... uh, uh I'm all excited about that, and it's loaded with uh, songs that I love, and uh, I always love good songs. When I find good songs, I go in the studio and record them. Now, Bobby, this album, uh, it, actually, it's going to be released on May 26th, so it's just a couple of days away, and I'm sure everybody's going to be excited about that. The album is called Things Change. Now, tell us a little bit about the songs. There's 10 tunes on it. I know... Um, uh, some of them you had done before. Are any of them brand new? Did you write them all? Tell us a little bit some of the, about some of the music that's on the album. Well, I wrote probably at least half or two-thirds of them. Mm-hmm. The only one that I have had done before is I, do a, I did a, a Detroit City. I won a Grammy for that back in 64. But, uh, uh, I did a cranked-up version of Detroit City with... Uh, me and Chris Stapleton, and uh, uh, we were, <laughs> I told Chris, I told Chris, I said, we're the Everly Brothers, you're Don, I'm Phil. <laughs> I said, you're not just singing harmony with Bobby Bear. That's awesome. Yeah, Chris is quite quite the person in, in today's modern music. He's been doing some outstanding work. How did that come about, that you had Chris on, on this song with you and on your album? Well, Chris and I have been friends. I've known him for a long time. Everybody in Nashville has known how great that, that Chris Stapleton was for years. I mean, uh, he and I were writing songs together 10 years ago. And, and every once in a while, he'd go into that crazy Chris Stapleton stuff. And uh, and we all knew how great he was and what a voice he had. And, uh, and he just doing what he does. And his wife, his wife also is a great singer. I, she, she has a great record on You Are My Sunshine, and I love that record. Nice. Oh, that's so, interesting. Yeah. Uh, but that's that's the only one that I had ever done before. Now, on the title song, Things Change, I was friends with Hoyt Axton, the actor, songwriter, singer, uh, before he died, for years, we were friends, and uh, and Hort always uh, he always had a saying. He said, "The only thing I only thing I've learned in life is uh, is that uh, a cowboy hat will blow off in a high wind. <laughs> Wem- women rule the world, <laughs> and things change. So." Uh, after Hoyt passed away, I got to thinking about that, and I wrote a song. And it's a good song, good song. Good, uh, oh. good sing-along chorus to it. We're going to be playing some of your music after uh, we have a, a chance to talk for a few more minutes and give people a listen to this new music that's going to be out, and they're they're going to be excited. Now, when we say there's a release date for the album on May 26th, um, is that hard copies? Are you selling it in places, or is it all electronic? And where can people get their hands on it? Um, well, you can go to bobbybear.com. Uh, I have my own website. And, of course, 
all the uh, all the other uh, places where you get it. The Spotify, the Amazon, and that. Uh, all those places, yeah. Now, yeah. is there a hard copy available for people? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I got a hard copy in my hand. <laughs> in my hand right now. Look at it. Well, that'd be awesome if we could get some of those because I know my listening audience would love some of those. So, just oh, to- uh, uh, we'll have one in the mail. I'm looking at it just for, for promotional use only, uh-huh. and that's what that you got it. Awesome, that would be great. I would love one for my personal collection. Uh, so, I would appreciate that so much, Bobby. Um, now, let me uh, back up just a little bit when you were. Um, thinking about doing this album and, and getting this new album out there and stuff. Um, was this like a, uh, like a, something that you were thinking about? Okay, I haven't had really anything out in a while and, and I want to do something. Or was there a turning point where you decided that you wanted to put a new collaboration of music out there for your fans? Well, I'll tell you, it's a, it's a funny story because I, I gather, and it's what I've always done, uh, all my my entire career, I have gone around to all the great writers and singers, and I find I find ten or twelve really great songs, and I go in the studio and record them, no matter what. So uh, this time I had a bunch of great songs. I had uh, uh, Mary O'Shea is a great writer. She had two songs I loved called. Uh, Mercy Now, and another one called I Drink. And then I had written uh, quite a few of those songs. And, uh, I wrote one of them was the last thing that Guy Clark and I wrote together it was before he passed away. Mm-hmm. And, um, and so I was fooling around with, uh, with Max Barnes and and we we cut a track on Mary Gauthier's song "I Drank," and it, it was so good that Max said, "Well, let's just start a record company." And um, he did. Mm-hmm. I didn't. He did. Mm-hmm. And another lady, and because you have to be really rich to have a record, <laughs> start a record company, richer than I am. So they started <laughs> Hypermedia. Hypermedia records, and, and they will probably get richer off of it. But it's it's loaded with with really really good songs. Well, I'm excited to hear it, and I know uh, I know your fans are excited too. You're doing a little bit of a tour too. Do you um do you feel like that tour might get extended or um get a couple more dates added to it while while you're out promoting your new music? I. I doubt that because I don't go on those long, long ball busting tours mm-hmm. if I can help it. Mm-hmm. But I do I do shows like I just did Renfro Valley over the weekend, and I'll do Gatlinburg. And mm-hmm. I, I'll do shows. Uh, I do festivals. Yeah, that's good. Well, and people can check out the entire list on the bobbybear.com website. Um, people are going to be hanging out maybe down in Florida for February. I see you're going to be uh, down there for a couple of days, too. Um, well, I'm always down there. I fish. I fish in Florida the whole month of January and half of February. Wow. The, the, the only thing is uh, last year... I did a country music cruise ship. I did a cruise ship with uh, Kenny Rogers, Alabama, and everybody. I did, did that, and then I did another cruise for the outlaw country on uh, on Sirius Radio with all uh, Steve Earle. And right. Outlaws. Nice. I think I'm an outlaw. <laughs> well, I have to say, you and I have That's some. That's what I do <laughs> in Florida. Well, you and I have something in common. Uh, my husband and I go down there for I- at least the month of February, and one of the things I love to do is go fishing. I love to fish. So <laughs> you and I have a connection there. Well, baby, you're talking to the best there is. Oh, boy. <laughs> you're talking to the best there is. I've been down there. Uh, you'd be surprised at the 
people who are great fishermen. I'm talking about Brad Paisley. He's good. Uh, uh, Jerry Reed was my 40-year fishing partner. <laughs> wow. I like fact, when Jerry Reed died, I got all of his fishing. Gear. Did you? <laughs> Rod <That's awesome>. Reel. <laughs> Well, maybe you and I need to hook up when we're in Florida, and you can teach me a thing or two. I'll, I'll do it. I know it all. <laughs> that's awesome. I love it. So I know that that's one of the things that you like to do in your spare time when you're not writing and recording and, and performing for your fans. Um, I kind of have an interesting question, though. You have accomplished so much, Bobby, in your in your lifetime, in your career, um, I mean, the list goes on and on. Is there a couple of moments, though? Can you tell me about maybe one or two moments that stand out um, that, you know, led you to where you're at, you know, that really kind of stick in your mind when you want to tell a story about something that happened to you in a career that was really outstanding? Oh, well, uh, the night I won a Grammy Award was the night I proposed to my wife, and we've been married 52 years. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, I guess the other standout thing was the night I was inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame. Sure. That's a big deal. So, uh, and uh, now you still you yeah. still you still perform there, and you still host some shows or something down at the Country Hall of Fame. Uh, I'm going to. They're in. Uh, I think they're down in May or June. I want to do a show down there for them. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. So people can find you down there. I'm getting them one here. I got one minute. Okay. All right, Bobby. Well, listen, I really appreciate it. We're going to look forward to uh, getting that music out and um, looking forward to making people aware. Things change will be available to people in stores and on your website, um, on the electronic uh, platforms in two days coming out on May 26th. I appreciate your time, sir. I'm honored and, and, and very humbled to speak to you, and I wish you the best of luck with your new music and your tour and everything you have going on. Thank you so much for your time, sir. Thank you, Casey, and you have a good time fishing. I will. You too, my friend. Take care. Okay. <laughs> Keep chunking. All right. Bye-bye.